Welcome. This is Joshua Benoist in Autodesk Product Support. So we're on video four where we're talking about parametric part builder to make parametric MV parts. Uh, let's look at the problem statement. Pause the video if you need to read that problem statement and let's move on. Okay, so we're in the fourth video. I think we've this effectively has planned out how we are going to create this part. Um, now let's go implement that plan and um, and we might actually in order to extrude him upwards we could either offset this guy again upwards so have a, a fourth plane offset upwards and just extrude them between the two planes. Um, but there's there's another technique also that kind of, since this is just coming out a certain distance, there's another technique we can use. Um, and I want to point out that we're actually using three different techniques here to extrude things. So this guy, we're extruding uh, along a path, all within this work plane right here. This guy, we're going to extrude between two planes. So with the starting profile and just say, hey, always bridge between two planes. This guy, we're not using a path. Instead, we're just going to say, here's a profile, extrude such and such a distance away from this plane here. Uh, so there's really three different methods we're going to use. Probably a, a pretty good demonstration of, of when and how to use um, all three methods. So let's go do it now. We're coming back into here. So um, what we need to do is identify the center point of this guy now. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw this path here straight out and <clears throat> um, and then over. And actually, I just realized that when we made our plans before, this path comes straight out. In this example, coincidentally, this guy is, is on the center of the main body already, but it may not always be that way. So, um, Instead, in order to find that center point, we need to come off of this guy with this line but out by half the width of the main body and then come back this way by half the length of that body. And so let's say that, let's just change our example a little bit to demonstrate what I mean. So let's say he's not centered. Let's move him. I want to move him as well as these guys down here. Okay. So I want to move them off center enough to demonstrate our example. So let's say that that connection, uh, return air connection there, is not on the center. So we're going to come back in this direction with our path to the you know half of this uh, width here. And then we're going to come back in this direction until we hit the side of it. So let's do that. And then we'll have a second path coming backwards from this guy back to the center of him. So that this, in effect, identifies the center of this, uh, which allows us to um, have this guy off center uh, if when he needs to. In the same way with this guy. So once we identify the center point there, we just need to have him come up and over that distance. And um, so let's go implement that again. So we need to come here 
and say add geometry. And we're going to do a line. We're going to say come in this direction so far and then go back in that direction. Okay. Um, <coughs> And that's going to define the, the midpoint of that outer edge of that other rectangle. 